What's good, BitRushers? It's Kyler, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an NFT with unlockable content. Our unlockable content is going to be an exclusive music track. So this one's for the musicians, and if you want to buy this NFT, the music is actually a 30-minute meditation of pure gold. All right, guys, let's get into the content. So, to create our NFTs, we are going to use Rarible. I've made several videos on NFTs before. If you want, I'll leave a link in the description. One of them will go over how to create a NFT on Rarible. The other one will teach you how to create an animated GIF if you want to animate your NFTs. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create uh, NFT with unlockable content. So, we come to Rarible.com and we want to click on Connect Wallet. This will sync up one of our wallets you can use wallet link formatic wallet connect or metamask in our case it's going to be metamask as we are using our metamask browser here our metamask uh, wallet i'm sorry not browser so once we're at rarible we want to go back to the home page i guess you can do it from here too just click uh, create collectibles and you're going to decide from here if this nft is going to be a single nft a one of one or if you're gonna sell multiples, like one of three, one of 10, one of 20, right? So this is the big decision, are, are you doing a one of one unlockable or a multiples unlockable? I am gonna do multiple and we're gonna do the rareable collection. So I had somebody ask this question, so I'll explain this really quick. If you do create your own collection, you create your own coin. So this is rareable coin. All of the NFTs put in this collection are tokenized versions of the rareable coin by creating your own collection you actually create another ERC token of rareable that you can name anything you want so you have your own collection token and then all of your collections in that um, or all the pieces of are all the NFTs in that collection are then tokenized versions of that token and not rareable so that's the difference it also costs a little bit more to create the token the first time uh, but after that, it's the same price. So, you know, the first time's more expensive. Every time after that's the same. And then you have your own custom rareable um, coin if you want. So this one's going to be called Obstacles Gone. Can you guys guess what it is? From some of my videos, you may have guessed. It is going to be... Ganesha. Okay, so the number of copies, I'm going to do 33. And the royalties, this is how much you're going to receive on the resale. So you're going to receive 100% on the first sale. But if someone resells that, how much do you want to receive? I'm going to take 12%. And then we can enter values. So rarity, mythic, legend, gains, infinite. So now we want to set the price. I want this to be 0.33 ETH because there's also going to be 33 copies. And here's the big part. This is what this video is about coming down here. So unlock once purchased. So we click. So you click this and it has an unlockable section that now the person who buys the NFT will get this piece of content and information unlocked once they purchase the nft so no one will be able to see it except for you unless they purchase the nft we do have a little cheat sheet here so you can um you can add these in uh, different formatting alt text url etc i'm actually going to probably pause the video and go through and use this to mark mine up real quick just to show you guys
Okay, guys, I'm going to just block the link here real quick so you guys can't see it. So it will be exclusive. But once you're done here, you just go ahead and click create. We're going to confirm on our wallet. And it's now minting our NFT. All right, looks like our NFT are minted. Now we can sign our sell order to put them for sale on Rarible. And signing the lock order. Here we go. go. So it'll take just a second and our Ganesha should load up we can see it right here so let's just go back I think we're still waiting for that transaction actually yeah we are so the first transaction when you mint the token it takes a little bit it takes a minute or so so we'll just wait a second here and I'll come back as soon as this is complete there it is success let's go back and check okay we can see that is now in our wallet NFT obstacle is gone. Let's click on it. And when we click on it here, we see our description. Remover. Oh, I wrote blockchain wrong. Dang it. Remover of blockchain obstacles. Bringer of infinite gains. So that stinks. I actually wrote the. I spelled blockchain wrong. I thought I double checked that. My bad. Anyway, we go to owners. We can see one owner. History. Who's owned it. Details. We have rarity, mythic, legend. Gains, infinite. And um, it's in categories art, and it does have unlockable content. So you can see right here, unlockable, and it says get unlockable content. You have to click on it. You have to sign the order. I'm pretty sure you have to buy it. It says, sorry, but something went wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I think because I own it. So I can get the unlockable content because I own it. So I have to sign the contract and I can get it. But once you buy it and you own it, then you're able to unlock that content. And you can access that link and get that music file. So for you guys that want to know how I handled the music file, what I did is I used G Drive on my um, Google, on my Gmail Drive, uh, whatever it's called. My Gmail email account comes with a free G Drive. So I just put the file on G Drive and I shared it with anyone who has the link. So no one has the link. So the only way you can get the link is to buy one of these NFTs. Obviously, if someone bought it once, they could share the link with someone else. But other than that, there's no way to get that link. So that's it, guys. That's how you handle the unlockable content. If you did want to make it a little more secure, you could actually put a password in there as well. So a link with a password. And the person would then have to use that password to enter into the um, whatever it was. You'd have to have a website or something like that that was password protected on its own. So however you want to handle that on the back end, that's up to you. But you saw how to do the unlockable content with here. You simply drop it in um, a little bit of coding if you want. But other than that, it's just a copy paste what you want into that unlockable section. And it's there. You mint your NFT and you're good to go. Hope you guys learned something in today's video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up. Please share this video with any friends or family you think may also like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified on future content. As always, happy mining, happy staking, happy creating. Let's get those coins.